This is Raymond from RPAD TV here at Vaptoberfest 2013 with Harry from IB Tank, who's going to tell us all about the history of the company and its awesome products. So, Harry, how did IB Tank get started? Uh, we got started out of just wanting glass tanks for ourselves. Uh, we didn't want to spend what last year glass tank cost, so I went into my shop and I made some tanks for ourselves. They showed some pictures of them to some folks on a few different forums and started getting, hey, you know, I'd like one of those, how much? And I thought of a reasonable price, you know, and, and people were attracted to it. We, we've now got four tank diameters. Uh, our latest one that we added was the tiny tank, uh, 15 millimeter glass tank. That's a cute little tank right there. Uh, it's handy, people love it, girls love it. I love it because I can keep it in my pocket and if I happen to lay my vape down somewhere and walk away, I've always got it in my pocket. I can pull it out and use it. Capacity, 0.4 mil. <laughs> yeah. But it is a glass tank and it's the smallest diameter glass tank that I believe anybody makes. Now there are a few things that to me make your tank special. You mentioned the caps before. Beautiful caps, almost unbelievably thin. Can you tell the people out there about them? Well, when I designed our caps, that was one of the things that I didn't like about the other tanks that were out there. And I saw no need for all that extra metal or plastic or whatever they were making their caps out of. So I, I did make our caps with a, a very narrow profile. And it's something that people like you keyed in on. And we've heard a lot of compliments on that over the last year of making these that, that uh, it's, it's part of the attractiveness of the design, you know, a nice slim cap. The other thing that a lot of people probably don't even know or notice is we have a, a rubber washer underneath the cap. I noticed. That, that we have custom made here in California for us. And what it does is it makes it to where the metal can never touch the glass. You know, and I learned that from an old glazer years and years ago when I was in the trades. And, and uh, he told me, that he was carrying a piece of plate glass one day and he had a ring on and it tapped the glass. That's all it takes when you got metal making contact with glass. So that's something we made sure we did there and it makes for a little bit of a, a cushion. It is glass, if it hits right, it's gonna break. Right. You know, but everything that we can do, you know, the thick glass we use in most of our tanks are our tiny tank, of course, had to be thinner glass because there's just no room left there. Uh, that's 1.2 mil. All of our other tanks are two and a half mils thick, so it's a real durable, sturdy tank. I've heard stories of people dropping their Bavari and snapping the cardamizer, and the tank's fine. Uh, another thing we do is all of our glass is cold cut, cold worked, ground, uh, precision. Our, our, uh, all of our custom stuff and anything that is uh, requested of us, we do five thousandths minus. So you give me a number in your glass, 100 pieces or 1,000 pieces, is going to be that length or within five thousandths of that length. And of course we have to talk about the thingy. You're always asking people, do you fiddle with your thingy? But sure. explain the thingy for the people out there that might not be familiar with it. First off, I want to point out we have a flyer now. The basis of this flyer is fiddling with your thingy. It's, you're not supposed to giggle. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it, was, it was a great uh, little bonus that I found. Uh, I, I like to keep a spare tank in my pocket, so I would drop it back into the thingy. The thingy, and the story's on the back of this flyer, the thingy came about uh, as far as the name, I asked the, the missus and the offspring, what are you going to call the little bottles? Okay, we had sourced these bottles as shipping containers for our tanks, they're a nice, durable little uh, container. And uh, missus said, I don't know, call it thingy. You know, <laughs> hand me that thingy. No, not that thingy. The thingy sitting beside the other thingy, you know. So it ended up being the thingy. And that was before the naughty joke came along. Uh, then one day I was putting a tank into a thingy to put in my pocket as a spare tank and I noticed an air bubble come out when I put the lid on. Well, the, the bottles happen to have a seal inside where the, they start to seal before the lid's all the way on. And cranking the lid on and off is uh, changing the air pressure inside the bottle. 
So each time you do that, you'll see bubbles coming out. And what it's doing is it's forcing that e-liquid right in the holes, down where you want it, up through the filler. And that's fiddling with your thingy. And it, most people that get it, some people don't get it. And they, I don't know, maybe they got broken thingies or something, <laughs> you know. Maybe we should send them a new one. But uh, most people that get it just love it. It's clean, it's easy, it's quick, you know. And uh, if you do happen to fiddle your thingy too much and make a mess, you can just wipe it up with a paper towel. And That's what I call it. <laughs> so the thingy, not only is it a great protective case, but it's a really convenient and smart way to prime your cartomizer. Yeah, and you know, there's another story behind the thingy there that we almost had our thingy cut off. Yeah. Uh, the company that manufactures this particular bottle uh, decided it was a, a non-profitable line and we went to them and said look you know we have these however many sizes that you know out of all your sizes we don't want them all but we would like to work something out so we can continue to purchase these thingies and have them available you know it became part of our product you know and then to hear you know hey you know, your thingy's gone now. It's like, yeah, it's like shoot me or something, you know. But uh, uh, we were able to negotiate an agreement with them where we agreed to purchase uh, 115,000 thingies. That's a lot of thingies. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the custom paint jobs that you guys do for your glass. I believe, is that something your wife does? Yeah, the, the missus and the offspring, yeah, they, they do all the painting. It's a, it's a heat cured paint, uh, really durable, and it bonds to the glass like nobody's business. Uh, we have very, very, very few uh, instances where we see any damage to the tank. Sometimes, you know, rough treatment, you'll get light scratches, but even that's hard to discern. Uh, in the beginning, my daughter was uh, painting graphics on the tanks, and they were insanely popular, so much so that we had to quit doing them <laughs> because they just took so much time, you know, and this is something that we've been talking about that we're, we're wanting to reach out and uh, bring back some of this really cool artwork um, and, and what we're going to do is try to work with like maybe uh, community colleges where the art program could make some money and the art student could make some money and then also uh, not that the money is uh, not important but I think even more important is the, the putting together of a portfolio of work, you know, these would be some nice things for graphic design students and things like that to be able to point at in the future and say, yeah, I did some work for this company or that company, you know. Uh, I, I think it can be a really good thing. For more information on IB Tank's excellent tanks, drip tips, and other glass products, head on over to ibtank.com. And for more Vaptoberfest 2013 coverage, head on over to the vaping section of RPAD TV.